All right, so I figured I'd go ahead and just make a video on this. This is uh, explained on the website, but people like videos, so here's what we're going to do. This is basically on the Hive OS website on how to do this, but I've got to do it, so might as well make a quick video of it. So the first thing you do is open up a shell, however you want to do that, uh, to Hive OS. I'm using Mac OS screen sharing, which is built in, I'm pretty sure, to Mac OS and you just put in the address of your rig and your rig's password blah 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 or you can open up a shell using the web interface i don't know you know get get access to the terminal on your hive os somehow if you got question about that eh, maybe you shouldn't be doing this <laughs> well, it's not that complicated but it is very handy and i'm local to these machines they're just across the room so I can do this pretty easily. But the crux of it is this. Uh, you've got two devices here. Uh, don't worry about that uh, red error at the top because that one, as you can see, is the 56, aka 60 gigabyte MSATA SSD that I just installed. And I was waiting on that to come in, so I had been running off the USB flash. So I don't want to go through and reconfigure all this. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that USB flash, uh, you know, on the Hive OS machine over to the uh, uh, MSATA drive. And then once you're done with that, you'll just unplug the USB drive, just unplug it. And probably that's all you got to do is just reboot your machine. It probably will recognize the MSATA drive and just boot off of it. If not, you just go in your BIOS and tell it to boot off that which is beyond the scope of this video. So I'm just going to type these commands out. Again, these are from the HiveOS website. And I will explain a little bit about basically what it does uh, because they don't really explain the Unix command. So there's your value add to watching this video and clicking like and subscribe. And that's SDA, which is output. Uh, block size equals 10 megabit, I think. I don't know, but the count is 800. Count equals 800, and then status equals progress because you don't want to just sit there. And this is going to take a while. I think the last time I did this took about 20 minutes, but it's not a big deal because the rig is up and running as you do it. So here we go. D input file which is if input file equals dev sdb which dev sdb as you see on the screen there there that's like my 16 gigabyte thumb drive and i know that that's the input file the 16 gigabyte thumb drive the output file of equals device sda which is the much larger ssd so i know that's the output device sda Block size equals 10M, count equals 800, 800 times 10 is 8,000. That basically says 8 gigabytes, which is slightly over the size of the uh, OS and everything. Uh, I think it probably says that somewhere on the screen. Maybe it doesn't as to what's free. It, it doesn't matter. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, and I'll link to this on the, uh, the Hive OS. Uh, yeah, it's 8,000 megabytes is what that is. So, uh, let's see. Anyway, it says something about here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I've done this before. Uh, this is not my first time to do this command. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And things will spin. And then it'll tell you how much it's copied and the speed. As you can see, reading, even reading off this drive this is a micro center usb drive that was like maybe three dollars the ssd was under 20 i believe with amazon prime and using my prime card and there's a five percent discount and i'll link to that and if you want you can look to my other video that i did a little video about an unboxing showing that uh sd uh so this is drastically going to speed up boots and reboots and reconfigs and all that's a big time saver and it's more reliable and might even use a couple of pennies less electricity every year i don't know 
I don't know if MSATA or USB uses more. I want to say, I want my gut tells me maybe the, I don't, I don't know. Somebody out there figure that out. Somebody tell me which uses more MSATA or USB. Uh, USB 2. So anyway, this is the BTCS 37. Doesn't have a USB 3. And honestly, the reason if you if you had a USB 3, uh, here's a quick note on Unraid, they recommend USB 2 because the USB 3 drives run a lot hotter, hotter, which also makes them more unreliable, and of course they cost more. So even Unraid boots off of a USB 2, or it does, which is how I have it set up, just because it doesn't reboot very often. It doesn't reboot as often as I reboot my HiVos machines because I'm tweaking or fiddling or changing the miner or what coin or whatever. So. Anyway, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. If you got questions, I'm real good about answering those. Please use my links because uh, I get, you know, a dollar if you buy a drive. It's unsponsored. Don't worry. It's just a referral link. Uh, and also, Amazon keeps, or sorry, YouTube keeps showing my videos, ads on them, and they're making money off them. I am not. I'm not making a penny uh, because you have to have a thousand subscribers. So that's why I need you to hit subscribe and like. And as you can see, this is going to take a good little while, but not a crazy amount of time. We're up to 1.2 gigabytes, so uh, six times as long as it's taken since I've been talking. If you want, I could just leave the camera rolling. You could watch that, but I don't want to. So we're going to end the video here. Thanks for, thanks for watching. See you later. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye.